Good afternoon, folks. This is Jim Lettuce. Welcome to the Temporary Space Show. I'm Jim. Yo, I'm Jesse. Yo, I'm J Mac. And this is the Temporary Space Show. We like to say the title twice because that's how we do it. <laughs> um, on the show, we care about two things technology and entertainment and how these two industries affect each other. You can watch all the new episodes of the show on our official network channel. You can also download the audio version from Mixcloud. Just go to temporaryspace.net. As usual, we'll talk about certain topics and we'll touch on the industry trends. But like last week, we're going we're gonna to carry on the trend of more or less winging it. <laughs> um, so I want to talk about one topic before we move on to the main point of this episode. I want to talk about the Xbox Game Pass and PlayStation Now. And I guess we talked about it before, but would y'all pay for that? Like, it's basically like Netflix, but with a game. Yeah. No, like when I initially heard about it coming out on PlayStation, um, I was, <laughs> I was just, intrigued. Just ignore that. <laughs> yeah, I was really intrigued. Speak up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean... For somebody who has, up until like tomorrow, been a poor ass college, I'm still gonna be poor as fuck tomorrow. But has been a <laughs> poor ass college student. Like the idea of being able to like get whatever game I wanted for like a monthly subscription, like that's way more affordable than going out and dropping sixty dollars for like a quarter of a game. Because then there's DLC and yeah. all that bullshit. Yeah. So like ultimately, games are like two hundred dollars now. <clears throat> yeah, that's yeah. how it is. <clears throat> But I still haven't paid for it. And it's, it's, it's confusing because there's PlayStation Plus, which is like Xbox Live. Yeah. And then Xbox Live, and then the Game Pass, and PlayStation Now. There's just too many. Yeah, well, there's definitely a lot of competition. So I guess that's good. I think that's a good direction, though, for them to take games. Like you said, like it'd save you a lot of yeah, I mean, effort and money. Yeah, and I guess it, it also lets people try out games. Like, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I like having physical copies of my game. I like yeah. having my game library, like, right there. Do you, you you should meet my brother. He's got, like, tons of... He oh, even, yeah. like, gets the old box art if they don't have it. Oh, yeah, like, as whenever I can do it, I get, like, the steel books, the nice. steel, like, box books, because they're... They just look cool. I and think you straight up said that on the last did podcast. I? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. I right, well, listened to it like a few weeks ago. Oh, shit. <laughs> so I will just go back and edit the last Deja podcast. Vu. Whatever. Yeah. Or this one. <laughs> For the record, this is episode six. Yes. Episode six. Okay, so before we end up saying something that I already said again, <laughs> <laughs> this is the Star Wars episode. By request by Jesse, Jesse was like, yo, let's do a Star Wars episode. Yes. And at first, I was yes. like, wow, that doesn't really... But it's like, Star, Star Wars. Wars is the epitome of technology and entertainment. Yeah, yeah, it's right up in there. Right? I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it's, so it's perfect. So, you, uh, I'll, I'll toss the ball to you. Do you have a few questions to set it up? Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, I figured we could just kind of examine the the franchise as a whole and yes. like see where it started and you know versus where it is now. I mean, I, I take I took my son to a toy store to Toys R Us, and dude, the Star Wars shit was everywhere, every aisle, like Legos, action figures. <clears throat> Star Wars has like they have their fingers in everything you know like, it's like like it's, the umbrella corporation it's insane. yeah yeah <laughs> um but yeah so i wanted to kind of ask you guys what do y'all think is like what made the first movie so successful are we talking in, about in your hope? in your opinion yeah okay i think it just I mean, I, I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm, I'm pretty yeah. young. But, like, from, from my understanding of it, like, my dad was there. He saw it, like, the first weekend it was playing. Um, I, I think it just appealed to everyone at a time when, like, a lot of, like, movies were kind of stuck in their genres. Whereas this was, like, sci-fi, 
I mean, there was like romance, there was action, there was drama. Yeah, there was a little bit of everything. So it was able to appeal to a large crowd as opposed yeah. to just like a few. True. Yeah. Yeah. Plus it's Star Wars. I mean, and it, like now everybody gets Star Wars references. Like, Yeah. Yeah, it's really like a cultural thing now almost. Yeah. What about you? Any ideas on what made it an instant classic? Well, actually, we talked about this in film history class. Cool. Because, like, you know, like, movies like The Godfather? That was, like, in the 70s. Mm. And that's when they had these, like, auteur directors, like, in the industry, like, they, where they would just let them do whatever they want and just throw money at them. Mm. But, like, Apocalypse Now, y'all know that movie? Never well, they, saw it. it was this disaster because they gave them too much money and too much leeway. And the studio almost went under, losing money. And so all these new filmmakers um, were coming out of the woodwork. People like George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. And they were, they started doing, you know, like Jaws and then Star Wars in yeah. the 70s. That was before Jaws. And like that, that whole Jaws like idea of like beats in a movie, like, well, there's this protagonist and then this happens and then there's a problem. Like they started that and Star Wars was one of the first movies to like... It was like part of this like new school of movies. Hmm. That's awesome. So I think that played a part in it. Dang. That's what cool. about you? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> that's cool. I forgot you took like a film history class. <laughs> yeah, they forced me to do it. <laughs> oh, really? Sure, that was so painful. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, not like bullshit calculus. <laughs> I'd have to say, um, for their time, the uh, the visual effects and the sound effects. And the score were all, like, pretty big. Um, yeah. I guess on a more technical level, you guys had, I think, better answers. But, uh, yeah, like, the way they, just the way they filmed everything, it, it was, like, all old school. And they used, I guess, I don't know, you know more about this than I do. Um, no, you're right, though. Like, the effects and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, like, ahead of their time, really. Mm-hmm. I mean, looking back now, it's like, oh. Yeah, it's, it looks so dated now. It's, it's, but. <laughs> it's almost yeah. Not you painful you to still watch, feel but, so in that yeah. world when you when well, you're watching it. I mean, that's the judge of a good movie, in my opinion. I mean, here we are, what forty years later, and I can still go watch that movie and be enthralled the entire time. Like, it's still a mm-hmm. really fantastic fucking movie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, like now, I feel like, I mean, I love where movies are now. Like, I love how amazing like cg and everything is but like i feel like a lot of movies just rely really heavily on that instead of yeah actually developing a story yeah (laughs) for real it's okay cool all right so i guess on to that is the future of the franchise so where where this uh where star wars is gonna go now now that it's out of George Lucas's hands, mm. who has yeah. already did a huge job of inflating Star Wars. I mean, there were toys already over the place, uh-huh. already all over the place. Now it's Disney, and it's, they're going at like ten times the steam that he was. So, like, where yeah. do you guys? Well, they're they're trying to like f- streamline. They're trying to make like a Star Wars movie every year or something like they that. They are. They have been. Have they Call of Duty it? style. Well, yeah, it's either, it's either been one. Because it was like Rogue One and then... Well, because Force Awakens came out two, two years ago. Rogue One came out this past year. Yep. And then there's another one coming out this year. Yeah, it's literally every year. And yeah. it's, it's alternating. So it's like... The, like the overarching like the trilogy yeah. is like every other year and then they're gonna like, like the splice spin-offs. in little yeah. not really spinoffs but like side stories kind of like, like uh-huh. Rogue One was just a side story like how they got the Death Star plans yeah. I never actually saw it but I know it's, I've been meaning to I feel like yeah, <laughs> I almost feel like we betrayed this podcast by not watching yeah. it first. I, I really oh, do want to see it. You so haven't I'm seen excited. Rogue One either? Nobody, not yet, dude. Okay, I I'm excited it. though. Nobody listens. Yeah. I won't. Right I won't give it away or anything. But I don't know. <laughs> it's you all should, good. You should, we should definitely set a time to talk about it when you guys watch it. Maybe on the next episode. Cool. They get the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Did it happen? Now there's no point watching it. <laughs> no, it's I. I I've, I've heard that it's not that great. I don't know. Like I mean, I, it. I don't like know. I didn't like it that much. Yeah, it's yeah. super serious. I give it. A, I give it a try though. You yeah, know? For I need. Sure. I need to form my own opinion on it. I mean, it, 
Any other thoughts on the future of Star Wars? Um, like, are we going to... Well, because I know one of your questions is about what happens in the next Star Wars. That's the next question. So it's, okay, okay. Well then, <laughs> so to answer this one, I feel like we'll see more. They're gonna but keep I, going. Because they're also making a Han Solo movie. Yeah, that's that's. I think that's the next like. Yep. Like off. Yeah. That's off. after. Yeah. So right. after not Force Awakens, but whatever the, the new one. Coming it's supposed out this to. Year I think so. Yeah. Is it, so next year basically will be the Han Solo. Childish movie. Gambino is gonna be uh, Lando. Oh, yeah. I yeah. know. When I when so I saw that cool. he got cast for that, I was like, yeah. Great. I think that's gonna be good. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. All right. So let's get on with the next one. Predictions. Y'all saw the last Jedi trailer, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What do you guys? What do you guys think? Like. What does the last Jedi mean exactly? And where, what do you think? You know, if you had just someone was like, "Well, what's the how's the movie gonna end?" What do you think? Well, I mean, there's there was a part in the trailer where you hear Luke say like, some something along something the lines of this. "There should be no more Jedi's." Like, yeah, yeah. There, there like won't be any. So I'm wondering. I think, in my head, I could see him, like trying to train her, to basically like wipe out the Sith mm-hmm. so that there's no need for the Jedi. Like without Sith mm. there and without Sith and Jedi there's balance because they're both gone. Without that's, that's a good whereas like <laughs> I feel like the Jedi are always outnumbered now because there's always two Sith, but Yeah. Well like, I've heard that it's more of a I don't know. that he's like tired of it becoming this like religion Oh, yeah. And he wants to destroy, like, the... Because, like, remember that the Temple of the Jedi's got destroyed in in the the last one? Right? The last. The, uh... The, the, in, what's the one... The one in... The, the, okay, introduced, the one in I Coruscant, the where Anakin Force trained. Is that no, 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 like the, uh... Okay, okay, what's... Or Luke's I'm, I'm losing track of... They're all blended in one movie. <laughs> what's the one that came out two years ago? The Force Awakens. One? Okay, yeah. in The Force Awakens, there's a shot uh, when Luke puts his hand on... His robot hand on R2-D2. Uh-huh. He's in this area where, like, he found, like, the original Jedi temples, and they were all destroyed by Captain Faz... Hazmat? Phasma. Who's, <laughs> Phasma. <laughs> Captain Phasma. Phasma. Captain Phasma. Yeah. yeah. Captain Phasma and a bunch of badasses like yeah. destroyed it, and Luke is like, oh, and and I think he's like, it needs to go back to like a set of like values, and not such a like a religious yeah. thing, you know. I can see that. Yeah. I like I that. Mine's. Uh, I I definitely kind of felt the same way. Uh, I thought they. I think they. I think it'd be cool if they explored, like, the whole Grey Jedi kind of scenario a little bit more. Yeah, I'm, I'm explain to me what a Grey Jedi is. I'm still not completely yeah. 100 I'm, on that. We just watched a video. I know, I know, but I, I didn't understand it so, <laughs> so for the podcast, too. To, it's what is like it? a lot of the guys on that list would, instead of dedicating their lives to like the Jedi code like you were saying oh okay they dedicate <laughs> they're either like take their powers and just kind of go do their own thing or they more like dedicate their lives to the actual force above like all else yeah that's what they said uh Qui-Gon Jinn I can see that yeah was like oh for sure which is why sometimes he didn't do what the, like, the council asked or yeah Okay. And kind of like a rebel within the council. So that sounds like, I don't know, it sounds like how yeah. you're expecting uh, Luke to so kind of be, might go gray. which is kind of how the vibe I got. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. He does have a wicked, like, Jedi beard now. So that's yes, cool. Yes, he does. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. So that's a good one. Our favorite characters. Uh, I, I figured we could do, like, a favorite Jedi and then a favorite, like, Sith. Character, you seem My excited. Both. <laughs> Revan, oh, right. Yeah, that's right. Revan. Okay, okay. Because okay. he like switches back and forth because he lost his memory and like all kinds. Of, yeah. yeah, Revan's. Any listeners who like don't know who Revan is, like, it, his is probably one of the most interesting, no doubt, Sith slash Jedi storylines because he's just a badass and he was on both sides. Yeah. Yeah, Revan is pretty cool. And wait, so are we doing both? 
Revan kind of was both, so I guess that's all. That's yeah. all. That's all. James, James <laughs> that's that's all I have to no, offer. Okay. I mean, like yeah. Revan. Good answer. Yeah. Topic over. <laughs> he has a, a dope ass mask. Two birds with he one stone. He does. Yeah, he does. Well, Anybody that wears a, a mask is cool. Well, it's a it's a Mandalorian <coughs> mask. Oh, I'm pretty sure yeah. it is. Yeah, because he. <coughs> I don't know if he's. Uh, I'm. I'm I think I might be misremembering, but I'm pretty sure he's like descended from a Mandalorian, or he killed a Mandalorian and took their mask. Something like that. Something along the line. <clears throat> Basically, like he was like, "You're not worthy of this shit. I'm aware." Yeah. Of that. I'm yeah. fucking awesome. So. <clears throat> okay, so my lettuce. My favorite Sith Lord is Darth Plagueis. Yeah. The guy who trained the Emperor. Nice. Because he's just this weird looking alien dude, and I don't know. He just looks cool. Yeah. And he trained the Emperor, who's arguably, I guess, uh, agreed upon that he was the strongest Sith Lord ever. Yeah. And so I, I think it's cool how they, the whole tr- Master Apprentice trope in Star Wars, I love all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And then Definitely. my favorite Jedi, I don't know. Qui Gon Jinn's pretty dope. Yes. Yes, he is. I don't know. I, I didn't even think of. I was so focused on the Sith. I don't know. <laughs> if like I have picking a favorite, favorite character. Yeah, like, like Jedi's are the good guys. Like, it's it's hard to find. Well, can I can well, I have another? They're answer? also like cookie cutter. Yeah. I would say my favorite good guy is y'all are gonna hate me, but I want to throw a curveball. I, I always God, liked. If you say Jar Jar Binks. I'll yeah. you right now. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. God. Oh my God. Okay. Podcast let me, over. Let me set it up though. Like the listeners are turning it on. You guys am getting hit. <laughs> but when Star Wars Episode One came out, I was young enough that our parents drove us to the theater. Yeah. And I always thought Jar Jar Binks was great until when I got older. I was like, yeah, he's really racist and annoying. <laughs> Is he racist? He's he's a he's a very uh, stereotype yeah. character for sure of oh. like. Indigenous Lisa, Lisa. people, you know, and he's, he's okay, kind of yeah, a, yeah, kind of an idiot, so. or he's he's portrayed that way in the. I thought you meant like he's racist. He's like, I hate Mace Windu because he's black. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like making jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Jar Jar say some really racist shit earlier. Jar <laughs> Jar, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 okay, I can see where you're coming from. Like, yeah. I liked him as a kid, for yeah. sure. But so, like, I, I saw the first. What was it? Episode one, I forget the name of Phantom it. Phantom Minute, the Pod Racer one. Phantom Minute, yeah, 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 yeah. The Pod Racer one, which the Pod Racers were cool. introduced one of the yeah. greatest N sixty four games of all time. Yes, yes. yes. Why <laughs> did they not remade that game? I don't oh. know. I played that game yeah. like probably more than any game I've played in recent memory. Just the same, like, the just same, the same stupid courses. Yeah, <laughs> over and over. But the one that, that was in the was movie. A, so they made it look a lot like the, the movie. Yeah. That, I liked they, uh, they really recreated Sebulba's it. the bad guy because it was like this like muscle car sound. Yeah. yeah. Well, and you could. I'm pretty sure he had like trick weapons and shit. Like he. Could, oh yeah, he was cheating for yeah. sure. Yeah, he was. No, but like in the game, I think you could use his trick oh, weapons. Really? I just he never had some, figured I, it out. Oh well, yeah, he, the game there was like a some whole kind of attack or something. Yeah. There was like a Gran Turismo side of it where you could like upgrade your pod racer. Yeah. Oh, man. So. Yeah, where we were. Oh yeah. So oh, we're yeah, on. Yeah, fa- you haven't favorite. given your answer yet. Yeah. Okay, so my favorite Jedi, it's toss-up between Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan. I think Obi-Wan is my favorite, though. Okay. Because... Older, young Obi-Wan. I mean, just, it's it's all the same all guy, yeah. <laughs> Probably young, okay? Ewan McGregor, actually. He, he did a good <laughs> job. Uh, I like the old one. He's so creepy. Yeah. But, I don't know, Obi-Wan's tight. He's like... He's like exactly what a Jedi should be, you know? Yeah. Like, he keeps his chill. Uh, uh, he's just... He's just yeah, he has that wise... But he's not, like, super old. Yeah, and he kicks ass. He, he mastered the defensive lightsaber form. Yeah. So... I like how there's different lightsaber forms. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Mace Windu, actually. That's what, that was going to be my other answer, because yeah. he mastered all the lightsaber forms and oh, created real? his own... Dude, that's like some and that's Bruce Lee shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then my favorite Sith Lord is uh, Palpatine. Okay. Just mainly for his ability to conceal his 
evil intent yeah. to everybody. I'd say he's probably one of yeah. the, more, the like, most effective because he rose to like such power within. Yeah, like politically. Like politically yeah. within, like yeah. without like revealing. Yeah, like everybody was exactly. like, oh, he's such an honorable person. Like, let's trust him with these crazy amount of powers. Oh. Like, he can control all of it. Yeah, and then slid right in there. Everybody in the stand, everybody watching the movie is like, no, fuck no, he's so bad. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, little little off topic, but did you know yeah. that there is a hermaphroditic worm named after Yoda? Oh, there, uh, there, cool. there are like like real biological creatures that were named after Star Wars characters. Oh, that's really cool. Funny. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I just laughed because it was a hermaphroditic <laughs> worm. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's, huh. it's like Yoda something or other, but uh, I thought that was funny. That was funny. All right, so then what we got next? Next one is, we don't have to go round table or anything for this, but it's okay. like notable like fan theories. Any theories you guys might have heard? I, I thought they were interesting, so I figured we could bring it up. Like <clears throat> the one that people are trying to figure out who Snoke is. The, the Mace Windu Snoke one is a pretty good one. Yeah. It's but it's kind of like that those. Snoke is Mace Windu. Yeah, but it you ever I've not heard that. you know how people draw those connections yeah, so between Kennedy and Lincoln? Now. Yeah. How there's like Lincoln uh, had so and so Kennedy as a secretary, and then he was driving a Lincoln when he got shot. Hmm. That people kind of leap at those connections for the Mace Windu one. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's very yeah. convincing because they're saying like the way he died and how he uses both sides of the force. Yeah. And like. I don't know, there's a, like all these, there's a great YouTube video on this, which will be linked in the description, of course. Cool. So, yeah, like, I don't think Mace Windu is Snoke. I okay. don't think any, I don't think a lot of people seriously think that, but... It's, it's a fan favorite. Well, someone idea. floated yeah. out the possibility. He'd be really old at that point, too, though. Yeah. yeah. Like, he'd be upwards in his 80s. But, I, I mean, like... Yeah. Well, and the... What was it? Like... Palpatine's master was the last one to be able to like control life and death, like to be able to like extend his life. So yeah. oh, nice. with the death of him, like unless if it was Mace Windu, like unless he like rediscovered that application of the Force and could it prolong his life, like I don't know. Yeah. I, don't know. I wouldn't put it past him. He is a I Jedi know. master. Yeah. Yeah, um, but there's definitely a lot of things like we'd well, have to do this crazy thing in order for it to <clears throat> be yeah. plausible. Yeah. Uh, but one one of the points that I think, I don't know, I hadn't really fought, like checked up on that theory or anything in a while, so I kind of forgot some of the points. We should have watched that before, but um, they talk about, like, George Lucas and Samuel L. Jackson sort of came to, like, a, you know, <laughs> uh, under-the-table agreement that Mace Windu survived the fall. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even though, the, obviously, George Lucas didn't come up with Snoke, so... Yeah. Uh, no, it's just it's two different storylines, and George is is no longer in, no longer valid. Um, but yeah, and then the the other one I thought was really funny was the uh, Jar Jar Binks is was originally slated to be a Sith Lord. Yeah, this one is actually really makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> like, based on... Have you heard of this yet? No. Nice. Okay. <laughs> but you oh, hate it. Fuck <laughs> yes. God. We should have watched this one too before. Yeah. I'll try to find but, that link too. Oh, uh, it shouldn't be hard. Um, so, one of the things they pointed to is that the similarities between Yoda when you first meet him and Jar Jar Binks. Remember when you first meet Yoda in uh, Empire Strikes Back? Yeah. And he's so, like, he's really goofy and weird, and yeah. he's this, like, swamp-dwelling Senile. fucking alien. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, like, they drop the bomb that, oh, he's this Grandmaster Yoda. Yeah. Uh, so people were saying, like, <laughs> you know, um, oh, fuck, where was I going with this? He was slated to be a, a, a grand or a grand Sith. I thought yeah. the theory was that he was supposed to be a Sith. The Sith Lord, guy. yeah. Um, so the Sith Master. Not they, the well, this is a common like character theme of like the of you know like the hero of a thousand faces thing where there's like the fool, 
the guy playing the fool. Yeah. They do this a lot in anime. Yeah, yeah. They show scenes from the Phantom Menace, like, during battles and stuff, where he, like, will just narrowly survive mm-hmm. or, and wind up, like taking out like 20 droids or whatever with some weird ass like drunken master yeah exactly that's yeah. what I was just about to say like masterful way- yeah. clumsiness yeah I know yeah. what you yeah um, I can see that and then they also mention how like he kind of rises really high up in the in the empire I mean yeah, he's in like, the senate he's like in the senate like, meetings by episode 2 or yeah. 3 yeah and he's always standing next to Palpatine Palpatine of the Gungans yeah. Rising to like that. That's interesting. Place. But how do you explain that whole scene with like the fat Gungan who's like, get out of here? That's <laughs> a really good like impersonation. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Shit. But I don't, don't want to believe it. I think it, because it sounds like George Lucas might have was trying to do that. But then there was all this backlash of how he's like a shitty character. That's part of the theory, too. Like, people hated him so much that if he was set to be that, then George was like, uh, he caved. Or he could have kept with it, because then everybody would have been happy that he got killed yeah. at the end. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and like if he actually revealed himself to be a Sith Lord, he would. Like would he would do like, like Yoda did and drop the fucking silliness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ooh, but what if Jar-Jar him and Yoda, Yoda had a battle? Yeah, I was just thinking Jar <laughs> Jar Yoda battle. Maybe that, <laughs> maybe that was He's the like, original. Yes, I'm gonna die. Was the first draft. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just a theory, so you know, I, w- I wanted to touch on that, and I'm glad we got to show you that too. Yeah, there's videos out there that explain it a lot better than I do. Yeah, there's like 30 minute video essays on YouTube about this stuff. Yeah, well, that's that's another really interesting. Like, I I know a lot of like cult classics. Like a lot of like fans go like really in depth into the lore. Yeah, Star Wars is like in my opinion cheap among them like people go so deep like they yeah. dig and like they analyze like <laughs> minute details like oh that spec moved some shit oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> making connections where I, I yeah couldn't possibly imagine them that's where know. both of those theories yeah. I think come from but it's it was cool watching it and yeah. kinda just considering what if well, I know in more recent movies who is Ray? oh yeah that was a who theory who is yeah. her like what is her that's, lineage do y'all, her parentage do y'all think well, that's, Ray, that's definitely the question right I bet they're yeah. milking that a little bit I don't think it's Skywalker I don't think so either and I don't it's I don't think it's Han Solo either I've heard both of those oh no I, I think I, I think it's a misdirect she's totally gonna be Skywalker's granddaughter cause it's Hollywood they're gonna play it safe and have some bullshit like that I know, I've, I've recently read that people are like proposing that she's a descendant of Kenobi, of Obi Wan. Yeah. Oh, that would, that's yeah. kind of plausible. Descendant of Ben. By the way, she she got awesome. the Force like real yeah. fast. That would explain it, I guess. Yeah. I mean, they're like, I think they've done a really good job with the movies. Like, they're, they're really making people like, like everybody's like, oh yeah, she's obviously a Skywalker, but then yeah. they're like, wait a minute, I don't know. Oh. Like, uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think so because yeah. Mark Hamill, he he likes to troll people yeah. and he loves uh, joking yeah. and shit. Mm-hmm. And during these like some of these press conferences and stuff, they'll be like, "Wow, you look just like my daughter," and like <laughs> wink, like wink to the camera, like. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's got know. a great sense of humor. About he it. does. Yeah. He's also the voice of the Joker in the Arkham Knight. Yeah. He's 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 like widely renowned as probably the best Joker voice of ever. But he's he's a really good voice actor. Like his voice <clears throat> acting is yeah he's good. He's in a lot of stuff. Like it's yeah. funny if you go like he plays um Batman or Superman in like almost any like yeah he does a lot of other scene. comic yeah. voices like yes. he's done the Riddler a bunch. Oh cool. And like, yeah, I know what you mean. He's good. All right. Um, this, is a, this is a good one. Our personal issues with some of the movies, you know. Okay. Plot holes, bad writing, um, uh, bad acting. Episode two. Yeah. Yeah. Just the fucking endless love scenes. 
Yeah. For no reason other than those loves those do make that movie hard to watch. Oh, where, yeah, where he's painful. like where he's like floating the apple and no, she this, eats yeah. it. Yes, like the <laughs> hour in the middle of the movie where they go back to Naboo and, and they're, they're like rolling around in the fucking oh, valley. He says that famous line where he's like, "I don't like sand. Yeah. Of course, <laughs> yeah. gets everywhere." Yeah. <laughs> That is like a meme it's, now. Yeah, it's like an infamous. It's such a good one too. <laughs> yeah, I, my biggest gripe was with episode three. Okay. Like, cause when it came out, everybody was like going crazy, like, oh, it it, it co- like connects all the lines to a new hope. Everybody, I didn't like it that much. It was okay. Like, they had all these parts where they could have had badass fight scenes, and they just gave up. Like. The biggest fight scene was like Anakin, he, he, he kids a bunch of kids, and then Yoda does like one fight, and and yeah. he, I know he fought the Emperor, but I feel like Yoda should have got more than that one fight in the last movie. You know, was that in? You know when they fight was that in, in the, the second lava? or the third? He fights that Dooku in the second one. And he that fights was in the Palpatine in the third one. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. He he fights Palpatine in the in the Senate chamber. Like yeah. The, yeah, but yeah, I yeah. feel like he should have had that one more big That was a pretty cool location. Yeah. I think that was good. an awesome location from the fight, though. But it side. wasn't enough. They spoiled us in this episode, too. Yeah. Yeah. But that was... Oh, and then the whole lava planet. That shit could have... They could have cut out, like, a good 15 minutes of that. It would have been fun. It was just too long. Yeah. I, I kind of felt like that for a while, but I think now, going back and watching it, I yeah. really like watching that fight. Okay. Just because, like, it I mean, is... I think the fights in those movies are probably the only real redeeming qualities yeah, of them. for sure. Yeah, I think they know that. They kind of yeah. milk it when they, yeah. they're like, yes, we have they're the greatest like, lightsaber We can have such, so much better lightsaber fights now than in yeah. the original movies. Let's do that. Who yeah. needs a story? That kind of brings you back to the whole CG thing. Like, yeah. They kind of rely on it more. It was a huge Back crunch. then, they had yeah. to work harder on the story. Yeah. You that, know. that was one of my issues with the, I also, the new ones. I also wish they hadn't made the like ships and stuff look so technologically advanced. The spaceships in the yeah. prequels. In the prequels, yeah. because like everything is like all streamlined and aerodynamic, whereas in like oh, sleek yeah. and shiny. Yeah. And in the shit. original movies, like they're all right. boxy and shit. Yeah, like, I, I would have like expected What's it they to made be in the seventies. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, like, yeah. they could have like stuck true to that and exactly. honestly kept it like similar style or something, just like a little yeah. different. Instead, they were like, "We're gonna make this all look crazy futuristic." Like this is fifty years after. Well, you'll <laughs> like you'll like Rogue One. It's all. That old style. Yeah. Cool. Like the older ships are way better anyway. I didn't really... I don't know. I liked it because the... the Alright. One of the best Star Wars games ever made ever... Yeah, Power Racers. I know. Star, it, it was <laughs> called uh, Star Wars Rogue One and it was on N64. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was a special code out. you could do to get the yeah, Naboo get fighter. Yes. From episode one. I always thought that was dope. It was cool. Nice. Yeah. I did... The, the Naboo fighter is the, the yellow one. The yellow one, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, I like that ship, but... Uh, not really any of the others, but that's yeah. what I'm saying though. Like it's like completely streamlined. I couldn't and... name any of the others. I know like the X-wing, but that's an old one. Yeah, I mean all the Tie Fighters and yeah, the Tie Fighters are cool. Yeah. I like the the Captain ones. Where the it's ones not, that are like curved. Not, the ones that are curved. The ones yeah. that are fading. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I have like stickers of those on my I'm son's bedroom. <laughs> so you guys have probably seen. Yeah. Um. One of the things I don't like about the the new one, The Force Awakens, uh-huh. was I, for the most part I, I really liked that movie, uh, but the fact that they had a Death Star planet thing was oh, such a cop out for they the, need to, move away to from riding a Death fucking stars, yeah, yeah, like I don't know. Well, there's I'm not there's the first theories about to it. Jump onto that, but the, yeah, the, it's like a carbon copy of A New Hope. It's yeah. ridiculously yeah. similar. Exactly. All the beats. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I did like how it used the sun as a power source. That was kind of cool. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, that it was basically just a big. I mean, what are they gonna do? I mean, that's like the ultimate weapon. But yeah. you're right, though. They could have tried a little there, harder. Yeah. At least have like. And the Maybe laser. it was like a portable weapon that's not a planet size. The laser was like, like an antimatter bomb broke off something. into this homing laser that hit a bunch of different planets. You remember that part? Yeah. That's not even a laser anymore. Yeah, like exactly. <laughs> what is that? 
Well, I know it's Star Wars, but come yeah. on, you gotta explain this shit a little bit. It was a fun movie though, I because I didn't think I would like it, but it was pretty fun, pretty good. Yeah. But I don't know. Like the, my biggest complaint was that the Ray, like it took Luke like three movies to become a good Jedi, and Ray figured it out in like one <laughs> scene. She's like, oh, "Yeah, I no. feel the Force. Yeah, oh, I'm out of here." Too. Let's let's be real though. Luke was kind of a kind of a pussy character. He was in the first yeah. in New like, Hope. He's like, "Hey, come on!" Up guys. until he shows up and saves everyone's ass in um, what's his name? The third Jabba. one. Job of the Hutt's yeah, like when he's in the lair. Yeah, yeah, like when he shows up and like saves him, like up until that point, I was just like, ah, oh, but fuck you, Luke. Put Han Solo back up on the screen. <laughs> that also might be another reason why the those originals are so good, is because like think about if it was like you. You know, no one jumps into being a ass kicking hero like um, just like that. If I you're totally a farm would. boy. <laughs> I feel like I've mentally if been you're a farm for this boy forever. Yeah. Drinking care. your blue milk. I'm a city boy. I'm ready to go fight some. <laughs> was it blue? Sith. Yeah, it was blue. Nice. There's jokes about that. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I think it's kind of cool. They progressed him from like a whiny, yeah, whiny guy to like you know, yeah, to like a, dressed all sharp, showing Jedi. up and saving everyone's ass. Well, doesn't I'm remembering this right? He wears like black in the, yeah, in the yeah. third movie, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, where he like becomes all badass. Yeah, and he's yeah. got like his mechanical hand and stuff. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Finally, you're owning up to your heritage. Well, he's got a relatable struggle, right? Yeah. Whereas with Ray, we didn't see her struggle. We can't relate. Well, we saw her like almost she, lose her she mind when her she family. touches the yeah, lightsaber to begin with. Oh, you mean that plot point that happens in the movie for no reason but the plot? <laughs> oh yeah. I'm, I'm bitter about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, where they didn't like address it again the entire rest. Yeah, of the where movie. she's like, all right, this character needs Luke's saber somehow, and this, she's like, here, I fit this in an old chest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like they could have tried a little harder. Yeah, yeah. Another. Uh, she could have found it in the Millennium Falcon or something. Yeah, you know, like she's like repairing something and it like falls out of. A, yeah, that would have been a like, little I literally better. Just than, like, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's like. Legend of Zelda, where there just happens yeah. to be the exact weapon you do, need do, 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 do. <laughs> to progress yeah, yeah, with yeah, yeah. the touch. <laughs> that kind of shit. Um, another thing I didn't like about uh, episode one was, and I actually never, I didn't really notice this, but I noticed after I saw a video about it, one of the reasons that movie was like, I don't know, that there's not really a main character in episode one. Like, yeah. It's not Who would you guys? Well, he wasn't not till episode two. You're right. Yeah, you would think it could be Anakin, but like, <clears throat> he doesn't come into the movie for a long time until you fucking, you know, they they Jar-Jar. they they get quite a lot. Right, it's, <laughs> <Yeah. Jar-Jar. laughs> it's Jar Jar. It's Jar Jar story. She just named it episode of her. It was one. almost Jar-Jar yeah. Story. I see what you're saying though. It's almost like a team movie. Yeah, but like. A DC team movie. Oh, like an ensemble. They just like DC throw team. people in, and there's like no build up. Yeah. Yeah, because it starts out with Qui Gon and Obi Wan. Yeah. Uh, can, can there be like a buddy cop movie about Jedi's, but they're like Jedi's? I would watch that. <laughs> yeah. Can it be Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum? <laughs> <laughs> Off topic, but yeah. the, the new Kingsman. Oh, is it good? I, it's not out yet, but I oh, just nice. I saw, I'm super that, excited that because cool. that, that movie was. I never saw Severely it. Severely underrated, in my opinion. Yeah. You never saw it's it? So no. that, wait, it had Samuel Jackson in it, yeah. right? Okay, yes. <laughs> He's that the villain. movie it's, is so funny. So it's it's, yeah. it's, yeah, it's almost really like a parody it. of like over the top spy movies. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, because I thought it was like a kids movie when I first saw it. Like, but oh, still very badass. Movie. It's very like the fight scenes are awesome. And I know uh, what's his name? Sam Jackson is like an MIT guy who went mad or something. Yeah, like he's he's like the maniacal villain yeah like megalomaniac like he's like take any of the james bond villains he's like that but like ridiculous okay. <laughs> what if it was like eddie murphy yeah the new ones the new one looks really good though. i like because it's going to show the american version yeah the whenever they scene. have american versions of stuff that's always cool it's, it, nice. that's what made me think of it channing tatum is the statesman oh, is. it's channing tatum and um jeff bridges Oh, Jeff Bridges? Nice. <laughs> Jeff Bridges is going to yeah. be Yeah, that's cool. cool. Shane Tatum, he's pretty funny. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, 
the oh yeah i guess the last one that we didn't hit was that i had written down anyway was favorite movie like anyone have a personal favorite from the um from the franchise yeah episode two for sure for attack me. of the clones yeah because all that when they fight those like animals in the arena yeah was i cool was like that and then natalie portman was so fine in that movie like and yeah. it, her midriff gets ripped off perfectly. She's like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the movie with a, the painfully long the sand. love scene. It is. I don't really like the love scenes that much. Yeah. But I mean, the, I, I, the guess, battle, I guess if you literally just, like, cut out that hour-long section. Yeah. yeah. That, that's I, also I agree. Yoda I love, I love the movie. arena. <laughs> I love the massive Jedi fight when they rescue them from the arena. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's when Mace Windu kills uh, Jango Fett. Yeah. Uh, the, the, yeah, Jango the dad. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Like, I, I agree. Like, that, that movie probably has some of the best fight scenes of the entire franchise. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but I, I I like literally just fast forward. The love scenes. The love scenes. Yeah. So the, the CG Apple. I, I can't like, get uh, over that. Where he rides, like he stands oh, yeah. up on the fucking. Where they're like in a field and they're having a picnic and shit. And he rides the thing and falls yeah. off. Like, where are your Jedi skills? Like, come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty weird. And then he, he acted all hurt and he's like, I fooled you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's roll down this hill together. Yeah. No. All right, Jamie. Oh. Come back to me, man. Yeah, that's that's a hard question. All I don't right. know if I have really a favorite. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, what's going on? Come on, continue. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I damn. Probably been a while since you saw like the original trilogy. No, I watched. My wife and I literally watched them all in order like this past year. Oh, nice. So it hasn't been too long. I would have to say. What's the damn? It's either episode five or six. I'm trying to remember. So that's uh, either mine. Mine would be Empire Strikes Back. Just five. I think is that when they're, they're in the snow, right? Yes. Yeah, it's because yeah. the snow speeders are so cool. And the uh, Tom The fucking Cloud City. Yeah. Oh, so that's when they go to Lando's. Mm -hmm. That's his place. It's a trap. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a good one. Spoilers. It's a trap. So that's episode number six, then? Five. That's five. And then six would be Return of the Jedi. Which is also really good. The, yeah. I, the, the only thing I actually didn't, that I can remember that I didn't like about that movie was how like critical the Ewoks were in the final battle. <laughs> that oh, yeah. seemed very out of place to me and still does. Have you seen the... How I Met Your Mother episode about Ewoks and uh -oh. how like if you're born before like nineteen like eighty something then you hate the Ewoks but if you're born after it you love them <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like there's some like conspiracy yeah I I love the Ewoks but that's because they're like teddy bear puppies you could say that was like a Jar Jar Binks like let's try to get the kids yeah it's a Jar Jar like, Binks yeah. without giving them real speaking parts. I liked how, like, they're introduced and stuff. Like, yeah. you know, they wake up Leia, and then they threaten to, like, eat and kill everybody. Like, that was pretty funny. But, like, I don't know, like, throwing rocks and shit at the, at the walkers. Yeah, it was a bit yeah. uh, Disney, yeah. for lack of a better word. And they had, like, Home Alone, the fucking forest, to hit them with logs yeah. and yeah, shit. Yeah, that was a Home Alone <coughs> kind of thing. It's a valiant effort, but I don't think it would have held off the Empire. Yeah, they I had like, it was unrealistic this is like an to infantry fight. with yeah. ar artillery. <laughs> the best army in the, in the fucking galaxy. I just, the the movies are described as epic space operas. Nice. Oh yeah, space That's opera. <laughs> That's yeah. a thing. <laughs> what makes an opera? I don't know, it's more like a, just like, like a, a show a like, drama. Almost. Well, like a Firefly is not necessarily. That's like more like a, like a sitcom sort of. But space yeah. operas were yeah, like epic love stories of. Yeah. Think of like Hamlet, Firefly but in space. Epic. I think it deserves that rank. Yeah, it does. Maybe it, maybe I'm wrong. Dang. Battlestar Galactica. Oh man, have you ever you seen that show? that show? No. Really? 
Man. It's Dude. probably one of the best sci-fi shows you'll ever watch your whole life. It's, it took me it's a great. long time to get around to watching it. You're never going to watch it. Why? Oh, oh, you're not into it? No, I just... <laughs> it's, so it's a funny story, but one, like apparently one of the cast members asked out my wife at one point. Really? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Like, apparently. Oh, it was, it was oh, like some, like, some some like B character. Like, he's not even a real... But, no, not even that. I just... While well, you guys were together? No, no, no. Before. So who cares, man? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have the time to invest in another series. That's so funny. The series is dead. I can't to picture okay. who knew that. It's just kind of old. It is good because it was a drama. I, I fought it. <laughs> like I fought it for so bad. long, but my friend Ben got me into that show, and it's it's mm. it's, it's a space opera though. Was it some old ass dude or something? Oh yeah, he was like forty or something. What? This was like well before my wife and I got back. Interesting. Got together. He's a Cylon. <laughs> Okay, so I have a legitimate thing I want to talk about. In the poster for a new hope or a new God. Last Jedi? The one the one hold on, no no no, I can remember. Oh. The Force Awakens. Okay. Okay. John Boyega, the black guy, has a lightsaber in the poster. Oh yeah. He uses a lightsaber in the movie for like a second. Yeah. I was very, very disappointed that they didn't say he was a Jedi. Is he not a Jedi? Is he a Jedi? He hasn't awakened. That's a really good question. There's uh, a theory about it too. He's a clone. But that's not official. He doesn't have rights. What theory is that? The theory is that he is the. Um, if if okay, this this goes to back to the Professor Snoke Mace Windu theory. It's coming back. They're Supreme saying Leader that, Snoke, bro. Get it right. Whatever. Sorry, that. They're saying that John Boyega's character is the son of Snoke, and he's because remember he was in. Okay, Kylo Ren has a group, a posse called the Knights of Ren, and they're badasses. Mm. And John Boyega starts in that. Oh, that's like. And a, it's like, why would such a? Is that like Phasma's group? It's or? it's a, what's his face's group? The, the evil, the red lightsaber guy's group. Kylo Ren. Yeah, I think Phasma sort of helps, but it's, yeah, but it's like Kylo Ren's group mostly. Mm. But like John Boyega was in that group. You don't get in an elite group like that and be a, an idiot. And so I'm not saying he's like know. pretending, but it's like they're saying that if he, he like, remember the part where Snoke says there's been an awakening? Have you felt it? Mm-hmm. And there's a moment where uh, right after uh, John Boyega, remember he doesn't want to shoot them and they have a fire squad and he like doesn't do it? Mm-hmm. Right after that, What's his name? The bad guy Kyle. looks at him, and there's a moment almost like he feels the Force awaken in him. Mm-hmm. And so there's there's been theories that he he is a Jedi and he'll be more in the next one. Maybe I, just, I want him to be a Jedi. I'm kind of okay with him. You don't care. Being, I'm cool with him not being one. Yeah. I mean, there has to be like a, a non Jedi. Like I know there's the yeah, that's pilot. Han Solo. Oh, he's dead now. Well, that's no. what I'm saying. Like, other he's guy. the new Han. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, no, it's the other guy. He's Oscar, the Han. Oscar, whatever. Yeah, Oscar. The pilot. Yeah, no, I know you're talking about. Him. So he's cool. I think I'm with you, man. Yeah. I think I think Finn is force sensitive, and I think Maybe he's, he's going to go dark. That could be a way to go. I think he's a Jedi guardian. Okay. Which in any of the games, they're more like the tanky, yeah, more combat uh, attuned Jedi as well, opposed force. to force, yeah. yeah, force users like Rey. Yeah, because Rey is like super. I mean, she like yeah. tried using the force for the first time and like mind controlled someone. So yeah, give me a <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. That's a that's a good question. I want him to be force sensitive too. Yeah, at least something. I just wish Kylo Ren had kept his mask on the entire movie. Yeah, he was definitely the minute cooler. he took it off. I was like, oh god, you're not intimidating in the slightest. Yeah, it's like this emo guy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they'll. Does that have a few years until, or I guess a year or whatever, till the next one? Maybe yeah. they'll make him. They'll give him time to progress and become badass. Well, you know him and Luke are probably gonna fight, cause you know Luke tried to train him yeah, a yeah. little bit, yeah. and, he, and he was like, yeah, 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 angst. Yeah, right. He's such an emo teenager. Yeah, he is. The newest Disney princess. Right. <laughs> 
I wonder how much of a time skip they're going to do between the movies, or if it's just going to pick up. I heard it picks yeah. up like like ten minutes later or something. No shit. Okay. Cool. That's cool. Well, good. I don't want to miss any training. I don't know about you guys. I love seeing like in any kind of like fighting movie. Like I love the training scenes. The yeah, training like, montage. See, not just the mon not the montage, but like <laughs> seeing like the methods of training. Like okay. it's always different. Yeah, like how Luke had that thing that shot the ball with the laser. <laughs> the little ball that shot him with the laser, and he sucked ass at it. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Yeah. And they're going to train on that island. Yeah. Because there's a shot in the te teaser where she's like doing Just, some bullshit on the yeah. end of the cliff and Luke's like in the back with his eye hands crossed. Classic. I hope they yeah. can coach her to look good wielding a lightsaber. Yeah, I think her fight scenes were a little bit disappointing. I remember it like to promote it, she puts a video on Twitter of her doing like a little bit of a routine. Yeah. And I was like, eight million billion dollars, you better get a better yeah. fighter, I mean, fight same, choreography in there. Same problem with Iron Fist. Yep. Oh, really? You seen, he, he is a terrible, like all of you the scenes the fight look choreography? so badly choreographed. Like, Maybe it's because I don't, I don't know, I thought it looks great. Is it, is it crappy? I don't know. I, I, I like, just anything like when you look at him in particular, like I see he, what you're saying. I can tell that actor's not necessarily. He's not. You don't yeah. get a martial artist. You don't yeah. get a vibe of like this is the actual greatest <laughs> martial artist alive. Yeah, no, um, which get, is what Iron Fist is. Iron Fist, yeah. Like, he is the any best. comic you read with Iron Fist, he's a badass. Like he almost like they could have got like a legit martial arts guy to do the acting. Well, that's maybe. what I'm saying. They yeah. just need to give him a mask. Because he wears a mask in the comics, then, then, you then get they can have yeah. a stuntman. And I, I mean, that's what they did. I probably with, with Daredevil. With Daredevil. Yeah. They're like, doing that in the Defenders thing. He doesn't have a mask in the Defenders trailer, from what I saw. Well, Daredevil does. Daredevil. He's I'm, got that like old school he, he, mask. Yeah. Well, and he wears like a scarf at one point or something. Yeah, and they make fun of him. For <laughs> yeah. <it. laughs> yeah. I, they need to give Iron Fist a mask so they can bring in a. Real stuntman, yeah, <laughs> stuntman. Or That's the way to go in movies. Oh, just have him put a mask on. Yeah, it. it's fun. And there was like this scene it's where they're real. him and his like girlfriend are like doing their like meditative stances and stuff, and like they're trying to do the same thing, but like they weren't even like fully in line and shit. Yeah, like, you can do that shit. Like you yeah. guys gotta nail it. I think they might have could have cast someone better. Yeah, that Asian girl is really hot though. Yeah, she's pretty fun. I think. I think they just cast him. They were like, he was in Game of Thrones. It's gonna be popular. <laughs> oh, no. oh yeah, he he's was that Lorian. He was the gay. Yeah, the, yeah, gay the guy was banging the king that got killed. Or whatever. The king that got killed by the spirit, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I forgot about all that. Yeah. The warrior's face looks familiar. Yeah, Lorian. Yeah, he's the super hot chicks. Yeah. Sister. Sister. Or brother. brother. I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so have y'all seen the Defenders trailer? Yes. I'm not Man, actually. When, you have it, dude. Like it shows, cause Iron Fist and Nick Cage, and he like he tries like, to hit him, and Nick Cage is like, "Bitch, please!" <laughs> but then he charges his fist, and it shows Nick Cage getting knocked the fuck out. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So bad. It's like I gotta use my one punch. Yeah. Yeah. That's another. Like you don't. Like he he doesn't just like charge it up and use it once in the comics either. Like. Does he maintain it? Yeah, like he maintains it. Like he's. Constantly yeah. breaking bones. Man. I bet you they did that for like budget. It would be so much more expensive to have a glowing hand the whole time. I know, but it's just so. Like, Maybe they'll just let them work it up, work up to it though. Yeah, because yeah. y'all have y'all seen Iron Fist like all of it or? Yeah. Okay, like the uh, spoiler alert, and when he does like the the ground pound move. Ground that was tight. Pound. Yeah. 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 Wait, where did he get it? At the end of Iron Fist, like one oh, of the final yeah. episodes, oh, when they're at the top that. of that skyscraper. He punches and like blows all the windows out. Like no. he could learn how to use it more. Nope, never mind. Haven't seen it all. Oh, oh, <laughs> not a big deal. Well, I, that happened. The end I really lost interest. <laughs> like nine episodes in, I, I was like, I, oh. I had trouble keeping up. Yeah. Sometimes it was like, oh, this really is bad. Can I tell yeah. you how one of the last scenes goes? It's not that great. I just want to tell you, this, share this funny part about right. it. Yeah. So. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert for Iron Fist. <laughs> After all that shit's resolved, uh, Iron Fist wants to take his girl to Kun Lun so they can train. <laughs> and so they're climbing this mountain looking for the gate or whatever, and Iron Fist's talking about it. He's all excited. He's like, yeah, this is going to be great. If we make it in time, we'll even, we'll even make it in time for afternoon kung fu practice. 
God. which is a line that someone wrote. God. Afternoon kung fu practice at Kunlun. <laughs> That's like a kung fu panda line. Yeah. Like. Why is I had, I it laughed sound so like a, hard when I it's like a yoga class or something. Like, yeah, I would say oh, that the weakest the part is the writing of that show. The writing, like the, the dialogue, they're just like, oh god, it's pretty bad. I think they, yeah, that, that show in general just, I like that one. Aside from Daredevil, was the only one I was actually excited about because I was like, I like the Meacham family though. Yeah, and when that dude calls him a bed of vipers. The hand guy was kind of startled by them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was I was a really big fan of Jessica Jones, too. Really? It, it took I me by surprise. I had the same with Jessica Jones. I got bored. Ten episodes in, I was like, this sucks. I'm done. The villain is what got me. Oh, yeah. I, I like, I, I just, I mean, David Tennant. But yeah, he's a cool villain. He's awesome. So you liked it? I enjoyed, like, literally, like, the order that the series came out, mm-hmm. that was my, like, order and like how I like them. Yeah. Okay. yeah like Daredevil definitely. was my favorite. Yep. Jessica Jones my second. Okay. Luke Cage got really weak for me towards <laughs> the end, especially mm-hmm. like Yeah yeah. Like Luke Cage started out badass, but then like by uh, episode eight, nine, like I feel like they're like having trouble like keeping the momentum. Keeping the momentum. Yeah. Like with Daredevil, like it seemed like they just had it all planned out. And then Jessica Jones, like it, like the writing was just really good. Luke Cage, like started off really, really strong, and mm-hmm. then like, whenever spoiler alert, whenever what's his name was killed by, whenever the Cottonmouth, yeah, whenever Cottonmouth was killed, yeah, like oh. that should have been the finale of the show. He was the best they character too. Yeah. yeah, he was awesome. Like he was a like a good villain. And then they were like, "No, nah, we're gonna bring in this other guy." From Luke Cage's past, but not really go into it very much. But he's like crazy. But, but that, alright, spoiler. That fight at the end was so. I don't know if I actually weak. finished Luke Cage either. They have this like bullshit, like high school bully fight in the street. Yeah, and everyone's like, like cheering. Boxing in the street. Oh, and like after all the stuff they built up with the, the different gun rounds, like they don't yeah. explain any ramifications of that the in Judas. society. The Judas bullet. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that, that was cool. Like the, the technology, but I was just like, eh, Cottonmouth yeah. should have added. They, yeah, they, they switched from Cottonmouth, who was like this ambitious, <clears throat> yeah, really like likable, like fucking street lord. And he yeah. even had this one point in the show where he mentioned that he didn't fuck with drugs and he didn't try, to, he didn't want to sell drugs. Like he was, yeah. a, he was above that. So like he had his yeah. principles. And they just like killed him off and brought in this like, Loose cannon dude who, like... Yeah, he was, like, your typical, like, what's like, your angry. motive? You're yeah. his, like, half-brother or some shit. Like, they just wrote that like story that. arc halfway through the season. Yeah. Plus, the Cottonmouth, we always had these pimp and suits. Yeah, yeah. dude, the pimp and suits. Cool. The, well, and then, the and then style what's, is nice. What's the guy's name? Like, what's his, like... Which guy? Villain name. Di- Diamondback? Diamondback. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, they put him in... I guess they kind of mentioned the, him. The super like retro Diamondback suit too, mm-hmm. like when he like goes to like <clears throat> when he goes to Pop's barber shop uh-huh. and is like wearing that lame ass suit. I was like, <laughs> oh come on, yeah. Change it up. The I Punisher, did. season two, of Daredevil. Yeah. Oh dude, that he's got his own so Punisher show. Does oh, he? Yeah. Yeah. What's his name? What's that guy's a good actor too. Is it? Yeah, he was in um, Walking Dead. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, he is the Punisher. He he really stole the show. He was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was I was worried when they said they were bringing in Punisher because the Punisher movie was just yeah so bad. Like when they introduce him and there's like this gang hideout and they're all like talking <laughs> and celebrating some shit and then these bolt like wall of bullets <laughs> comes through the window yeah. and kills them all and it's like the Punisher. It's like he it's like oh it's just one guy actually. <laughs> yeah, I want to go. Like I, I imagine he had like a fucking like balcony with like four machine guns there. Oh yeah, <laughs> like a sniper for out. good measure. Yeah. Someone yeah. who's just like. <laughs> He's definitely better than the the John Travolta one. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, John Travolta. There's an older one in the '80s with Dolph Lundgren. Really? Yeah, that was like the Is first Dolph, Punisher. He plays the Punisher. He's the Punisher. Yeah, it's like <laughs> cool. super '80s looking. Yeah, I can see that. 
Superhero. There was a Punisher. Uh, there was one Punisher movie that was really good. It was Punisher War Zone. Did y'all oh, want to see that? Know. It was like a straight to DVD one. It was good. Yeah, because that, that <coughs> one came out after the one, the other one. Yeah. Because there was one that was just the Punisher, and that came out in like early 2000s. Yeah. And then there was yeah, the Warzone one. And that, I, I did like that one. Hmm. All right, well, we hit our time. I think this is a productive episode. Yeah. yeah. Episode <clears throat> six. Oh, I got some kind of spiel I should read. Probably. No. Bye, everybody. <laughs> it's over. Um, links to the sources are in the descriptions. I have a link to most of these Star Wars things. I'll try to find the Jar Jar Binks one. Yeah. Just Google it. Lazy uh, people. Thanks for tuning in to the Temporary <laughs> Space Network. This is the Temporary Space Show, episode six. Yeah. The Star Wars episode. Yeah. Heck yeah, bro. <laughs> All right, yeah. So I guess we'll end the show. See you guys next time. All right. Later, Bye. guys. Bye.